Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to Diamond Painting Lisa. I hope you are all doing okay. Um, you'll notice that I'm very close up on this video, but today's video is actually a video about putty and how to use putty, or how I use the putty. So basically, I really wanted to try putty for a long, long time, but I could never find anyone in the UK that made putty. Um, the only sellers I could find on Etsy and places like that was um, American sellers and although their prices were great the shipping obviously to come to the UK was you know a lot more than the actual putty itself so I was kind of looking for a UK seller so when I came across Abby's Diamond Putty I was absolutely over the moon and couldn't wait to try it so I did order some and I've been using it ever since um, I don't use the wax anymore at all I tried several different waxes and I just you know, for me personally, I can't get on with wax. Some people like wax, that's great. Obviously, if it works for you, that's fantastic. But me personally, I do prefer the putty. Um, I have done an unboxing video for um, Abby's Diamond Putty just to show, um, you know, how it arrives and everything if you wanted to have a look at that. Abby has several different scents um, and she's adding new scents all the time. So keep checking in with her and I'll link her social details down below as well. Um, she has a Facebook group, she also has Etsy and she has a website, so I'll link all of those for you. Um, so yeah, go and have a look. So there is loads of different scents and she is, as I say, adding them all the time. She does a few other little bits and bobs as well, like um, cover minders. She's got some beautiful little um, trash drill cover minders, so you can use them as a cover minder and use them for trash drills as well. So they are so cute. So yeah, go and have a look at those as well. Um, I have actually got four of Abby's... Um, Putties currently, I've got Candy Floss, I've got Bubble Gum, I've got Peach and I've got Black Cherry. And I have to say, they do all smell divine. It's such a lovely smell. Um, I did notice yesterday on Abby's page that someone mentioned that they have migraines, but they wanted to try the putty, but the scents in them would probably, you know, sort of trigger migraines. So Abby has very kindly said she's more than happy to make them um, scent-free putty. So that's just something to consider. If you are a person that suffers with migraines and that's something that would put you off, if you contact Abby, she'd be more than happy to help. So let's get down to it. I'm going to use candy floss today. And honestly, I wish that you could smell this because it's it literally smells so beautiful. I have used this before and I have actually sort of rolled it back out just to flatten it again. So it does look like it's unused, but it isn't. I have used it a lot. Um, I've used black. I've used all of them. I've tried them all. I personally like to keep my putties in the fridge. So I use this little bag and I put them inside this little bag and I store them in the fridge because I find the putty is a bit firmer. If it's, you know, some people like it really sticky, that's fine. But for me, I prefer it when it's been in the fridge. But if you do order putty, obviously you do it your way, whichever's best for you. But that's what I do. So let's have a look. This is a kit I'm currently working on. This is um, from Diamond Art Club called Emerald City. Yeah, I know I'm working upside down, so just ignore that. But I do tend to work upside down the right way. I work all different ways when I'm working on a kit. So yeah, just ignore the fact that it's upside down. So I'm going to put some drills into my tray ready. Get them lined up ready. I'm just going to give a little bit of a demo. So here is the putty. This is what it looks like. You get, I think it's about five grams, which literally lasts forever. I've actually got some putty in one of my pens. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see it, but like it literally, it's been in there that long. It's the putty's really dirty now from where I've been using it repeatedly, but it's. It's been in there, it feels like forever, so it is very long lasting. But I find the putty likes to be used. <laughs> I'm talking about it like it's real, but you know what I mean. The putty likes to be used in pens that haven't already had wax in. So if you do have some pens to hand or multi places or single places, whichever you prefer to use, if you have some to hand that haven't had wax in, the putty does tend to prefer that. Okay, so let me just. Put that back over while I press some into the pen. So when you put the putty into the pen, you'll find sometimes it does need a bit of a wiggle. So you basically do it this, exactly the same way as you use your wax. You press your pen into it, but give it a really good wiggle because it does 
like a good wiggle to get stuck into the pen. As you can see, hopefully, the putty is now in my single placer, just like that. So it really is literally the same as the wax, but much longer lasting and far less irritating and doesn't go all over your drills. Sorry, as you can tell, I'm a, a real putty fan. So yeah, that's the multi-placer and it is there, as you can see, in the, in the multi-placer. So, as I say, it's literally, that's all you need to do to get the putty into your pen. And then you're basically ready to go. So let me just do a little bit for you, just so you can see it in actual use. Right, okay, what are we doing? Yep, okay, so I'm just gonna do a few symbols in the single place so you can have a look. So basically just literally picking it up, picking your drill up in the same way you do your wax and popping it down. I have to say, I am kind of addicted to the noise as well. So if you're a person that does um, TikTok videos or, or YouTube videos, it's a perfect sound for videos. Sometimes you can find that it may feel a bit sticky. If that happens, um, what Abby has said, because she's very good with tips and things, so what Abby has said is if it does feel a little bit too sticky, because I've got a bit of residue on there, just press it a few times, even on like something material, just to kind of take the stick off a little bit. But this is why, again, why I like to put mine in the fridge, because I think it makes the putty slightly less sticky and it's, you've got more chance of it not staying on the end of your pen. But yeah, I mean, it is, literally is a game changer for me because I never did like the wax. I always found that it left residue on top of the drills that I then had to go and clean off um, afterwards. So yeah, it is literally, as I say, I've, I don't even know how long I've had um, the putty in my other pen because it's just been in there forever. This is the only reason I'm using one of these pens that you get free with kits because all my other pens um, have got the putty in them already. So, you know, as I say, I've been using it a while. Let me just do a few more drills singly and then what I will do is have a go with the multiplacer. Now, just to make you aware, I'm not the best at multiplacing at the best of times, but for purposes of the video, I will actually show you using a multiplacer. I tend to single place more often, to be honest. Um, sorry about that, just not the camera. I do prefer to single place, but sometimes in areas like this, especially where there's lines, I think multiplacing sometimes just keeps it that little bit neater. So let's have a look. I'm going to put the pen, move it over here so you can see it into the drill so they're all lined up nicely ready for me so you just press the wax onto the drills and there you have it it's picked up the drills it's picked up my row of drills for me so you then just place them onto your canvas the same way as you do with the single placer there we go job done so yeah just carry on and do a few more for you i love it that sound <laughs> it's just so addictive. And Abby is absolutely a lovely lady. She'll do anything she can to help you. Um, she's always up for recommendations for scents, I'm sure, as well. So, you know, she's just um, a young lady with a family that's set up her own little business. And, you know, she's doing so well. And she's really popular on the diamond painting groups with her putty. But people are, you know, I have seen people comment on a page recently saying, oh, you know, I don't know whether I want to try it or not. Will I be able to do it? Um, you know, and they're, they're a bit sort of hesitant to try it. But honestly, please, please give it a try because it really is a game changer. You don't find your, you know, putting it in the pens half as much as you do the putty, uh, sorry, the wax. So yeah, please do, do give it a try. As I say, I will link Abby's detail. So go along and have a look what sense that she's got, see if there's anything that you like. Um, I, I mean, I basically like the sounds of all of them. Like I say, currently I've got four, um, but it takes, you know, it just lasts literally forever. So it's going to take me a while to get through them. But I mean, who doesn't like a new smell, though? And I know she's bringing some more out this week. So, yeah, the temptation to buy more is always there. But so, yeah, please go over, give Abby some love. Go and join her Facebook group as well, because she's always putting information in there about what new scents are coming out and if she's got any sales on or anything like that. So, you know, make sure you go onto the group as well. Get yourself added on there 
and it's a lovely friendly group as well so you know go on there and join um, and yeah that's pretty much all I can say really so yeah if you have been hesitant to try it please please do because literally you will love it I'm sure I, I will never go back to wax again so you know for me it's definitely a game changer but yeah thank you for watching today um, if you've got any questions obviously put them down below if there's anything you want to ask about the wax that's you know just put me a message there and um, a comment and I'll I'll reply to you and if it's something you want to ask Abby that's great I can get her to jump on my um, post as well so yeah just um, you know feel free so that's all from me for today so take care of yourselves and I hope to see you again in the next video and if you are willing to subscribe to my channel that would be very much appreciated thank you for watching take care now goodbye